My name is Julian Michael Majewski. I did my undergraduate at Western University. Where I got a Bachelor in Fine Art. Uh, and I'm currently in my second year, soon to graduate from OCAD's Interdisciplinary Masters in Art, Media, and Design. As an artist, I'm intrigued by how I can take materials that are readily available to me within the urban setting and use them within my practice. I think from an art perspective, I think uh, the way that institutions and art culture can essentially have these systems of value justification, if you can apply that towards materials that are kind of going to waste or not considered to have value, if through art you can establish a new use value or new functionality, then I think that's something worth exploring for cultural gain. Going into OCAD, I was interested in not obtaining a traditional fine art experience. I wanted something that was interdisciplinary, that allowed us to consider not just our art practice, but how our art practice can be a bridge across different fields of research and commerce, and essentially more than just the artist being the creator of an object. This summer, uh, through the support of OCAD, I did a permanent installation at the Historical Art Park in Lewiston, NY, which is neighboring to Buffalo. I think as an artist, to get a permanent installation anywhere is like kind of really exciting, and it's nice to have that permanent somewhere and to know that people will enjoy it. So my piece was an uh, interactive sound sculpture called Hashtag Make It Rain, where it's a series of interactive standing objects with one central teeter-totter, where they're all filled with various objects such as BBs, marbles, and pellets. And uh, as people either use the teeter-totter or twist the freestanding objects, you have a sound like approaching rain so it mimics that rainmaker stick sound. OCAD offers a very nice range of professors who can fill various advisor roles. And within the graduate experience, I think it's very nice to, ass to assimilate a committee of professors who you feel are like-minded, whether it's theory-based or practice-based or both, or if you're an artist, you could have a curator in your committee, you could have a theorist, like the options are endless. And I think there's something very nice about building this unique relationship that nurtures your creative process, but without it being a literal classroom experience with other people, it's very tailored to, to what you want, and therefore you can kind of try to ensure that you get out of it what you put into it.